All verse rise of my soul family, all verse rise of my soul family. Peace to the God stars and goddesses of this angel number multiverse. And let me tell you something, my soul family. Never let anyone with no intuitional spiritual intelligence, especially a woman with no intuitional spiritual intelligence, disrespect you and tell you that your voice of intuitional spiritual intelligence cannot change a thing. Because let me tell you something, if any individual with no intuitional spiritual intelligence had the nerve to tell me that my voice of intuitional spiritual intelligence cannot change anything, I truly look at them and be like, you know what, that person is too far gone. And I'm not going to convince this person any further. And they're just good riddance. You feel me? Because let me tell you something, man. To you people out there that look at us true educated people who always question things in the multiverse, you people out there with no intuitional spiritual intelligence, especially the women out there who always trying to shit test spiritually intelligent, intuitional, mind, heart, and soulful individuals. Man, bro, I look at you all. With no intuitional spiritual intelligence to be like, man, like what what made you want to go? What made you want to go challenge and disrespect and downplay a soulful vibrational individual who questioned things of any indoctrination or share their voice of intuitional intelligence on thoughts that they are having? That can make a huge soulful vibrational impact in the whole multiverse. Take a, that can make a whole soulful shift towards real, true freedom or any soulful vibrational future. Come on, man. Look, man. You know what's interesting? You know what's very interesting? You know, especially when it comes to us dark skin melanated males us dark skin melanated males that are spiritually intelligent connected to celestial logical and emotional intuitional source of this multiverse we be you know dark skin males like me who are spiritually awake tend to get disrespected a lot by individuals who don't question anything in this multiverse especially on planet earth right and look, man, you know how many individuals had the audacity to try to downplay me and tell me that my voice of intuition doesn't matter and it won't change anything? I always tell them, my voice does matter to soulful beings out there that can relate to my frequency. If an individual tells me that my voice don't matter, that just shows me that that individual is not on my level. Especially if a woman tells me, oh, your voice don't matter. It's not going to change anything. Just because they can't look it up on Google or find it in a religion book. Oh, now it, it, it counts as false. Oh, now it counts as, oh, the voice don't matter. Just because it's not written in a religion book or written by some fucking slave owner that indoctrinated planet Earth. That's crazy, bro. Look, anybody that ever disrespect me and tell me that my voice of intuitional, logical, and emotional intelligence of the of the mind, heart, and soul does not matter. Look, you know what I you know what I tell them? I tell them this. All right, so you want to play with me? Get the gloves on. Let's box. For real. I don't care if that person is three feet tall, four feet tall, five, five, six feet, seven feet, 12 feet, 80 feet. It don't matter what height they are. If they disrespect me and tell me that my voice of intuitional intelligence does not matter and it's not going to change anything. Look, I tell them we can get the gloves on and we can get in the ring pay-per-view for you to get embarrassed. Like, for real. Like, come on, man. Come on, bro. Like, you know what's interesting too, man? Because a lot of people on this planet, a lot of people on this planet that are not soulful vibrational beings and are really organic portal, synthetic clones, soulless vibrational beings. Bro, these soulless vibrational beings, 
really always want to try to make the soulful vibrational people look like the crazy ones. You know, a lot of individuals that have challenged me just because I'm a dark skinned male, I'm a dark skinned melanated male who's spiritually awake. They challenge me because of my skin color and be like, oh, you're dark skinned. You know, anything you say is not educated. Oh, but let a lighter skinned European white guy or a European white woman say the same things that I'm saying from intuitional intelligence. Oh, it gets accepted as facts because of so-called white privilege. You know what I'm saying? Because this whole, because planet Earth has been so indoctrinated by, oh, the darker the skin the person is, they don't, they don't have no credit of any education. Because true education comes from within, not from a school system. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, for the people that came at me and disrespected me, saying that my voice of intuition doesn't matter and won't change anything, I'm not going to say your names because you all know who you are. You revealed yourselves to me. Like, seriously. Like, come on. Like, bro. You know, <laughs> I had so many people tell me that my voice don't matter and my voice of intuition or intelligence is not going to change anything. I had individuals tell me that I'm uneducated just because, just because I'm dark skinned. Oh, but let me have been a European white person saying the, saying the intuitional intelligent things that I be saying. And guess what? They're not, they wouldn't dare, especially a woman would not dare to ever dis, dis, discredit me and disrespect me and say like, oh, my voice of intuitional intelligence doesn't matter because it does. Every soulful vibrational beings that speak from intuition, that's speaking from their mind, heart, and soul, it matters a lot. Especially when it comes to dark skin, melanated, spiritually awake males. Oh, when a dark skin, it's melanated spiritual male is speaking. Oh, they're speaking facts. Because when you connect with Unk Life, when you connect with Unk Life of the all seeing mind, heart, and soul eye of this celestial angel number multiverse, the dark skinned spiritual males, the, the dark skinned melanated males, bro, they were they were considered gods. That's the true history. The European white whitewash, the European whitewash slave history that people be learning in schools and, and all that. They try to teach, they try to teach that dark skinned melanated males who are spiritually awake as the crazy ones. So like anything that I say, I'm considered the crazy one. Just because I'm dark skinned, that is so fucking lame. And that is so hateful. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I can't even I can't even begin to tell you how many individuals, whether it was a male or a female that was lighter skinned than me, tried to discredit me on social media and say, like, oh, your voice don't matter. You're just you're just you're just on drugs just because anyone who tell me that just don't have no intuitional intelligence and they, they can't think for themselves. They got to think from a religion book made by a slave owner. Like seriously, like, come on. I noticed that when you are a dark skinned, melanated, spiritually awake male, and you speaking from the intuitional mind, heart, and soul, unk life intelligence of logical and emotional intelligence, a lot of these individuals with no intuitional intelligence that's of soulless vibrational frequency that fits in this matrix try to discredit you. You know what I'm saying? Like for, for that for that one, for that one woman, that one girl that try to discredit me, man. I don't gotta say your name. You know what you did. You know what you did. You try to discredit me because you can't think from intuitional intelligence the way I can think from intuitional intelligence. Because I'm gonna tell all soulless vibrational beings especially the one woman that discredited me my voice of soul my voice of soulful vibrational intuitional frequencies matters and it will change this multiverse to be healed that's all i'm gonna say